Okay, so the, the, the crystallization represents a, a system of nature, essentially. It's, it's a, um, a natural occurring um, phenomena, I guess, that if you put this uh, material, if you make a solution in a, in a type of way, that the, actual, the, the only outcome is crystallization. And so this is very simple. This is a very direct relationship to materials in the world somehow, that you're allowing simply, you know, you're setting up the system for um, an, an aesthetic outcome. And I wanted to be as, as rational as that. I wanted to allow the process, um, a system of nature, a process which I didn't have any sort of aesthetic relationship to, um, to occur. Um, okay, so this crystallized panel, um, it has a use. It's going to be part of fundraising for the icon. It's going to be fundraising for um, the um, potential burial of a 737 under the ground in, in Birmingham. And, um, and so I suppose in a way it's a, it's a sort of a first step, it's, or it's, a, it's part of the steps of fundraising that we have to do. And, uh, and thinking about how to raise money for, for this you know, rather extreme project. You know, projects like this are, are very difficult. It's very interesting. You know, there is resistance to contemporary art, and there is resistance to certain types of, you know, artworks that want to sort of cross maybe into a wider frame, and maybe wants to sort of leak out of the institution into, into the real world. And, um, and so it becomes actually really fascinating about how, you know, people have a closer relationship, because it isn't within the institution, it isn't within the, the safety and the confines of, of a building. And so this project, yeah, talks about an extremity. It talks about the acquisition of a 737, which was, you know, flying around quite happily, um, but then becomes a waste material, becomes something which isn't used, something which actually has zero value, other than a scrap value. And so these things accumulate, rather like anything. It's rather like a used tin can. And so you have this used tin can of an aeroplane, and the next stage, what, you know, possibly the next stage of any aeroplane, or all aeroplanes, could be their you know, subsequent burial, perhaps, or their sort of taking apart for, for new materials. You know, I don't have a, a completed version to flight an aircraft, but I am completely aware that they have a tendency to, uh, to obscure our reality in terms of how we um, allow ourselves to exist on this world, on this planet. And I think that that's interesting. I think that, um, you know, that we exist within cycles, and at some point we're going to have to realize which type of cycle we're in right now. And so maybe we're a part of the cycle where actually bearing aircraft is where we are.